Hello. Helps to uh, have the microphone close to your face. I've learned that because I'm a professional. Not. Hello. How are you? Welcome. Um, I may fall asleep in the middle of this stream. I apologize. Anyway. Hello, Scott. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to our stream. I have to do something. I, I never do this. But there we go. Plugs. Yay. Um, just checking the ball works, you know. <laughs> uh, but hey, you know, come and join the Discord if you want to talk about trains. Because sometimes that happens. Um, how are we all this evening? How is everybody on this fine Wednesday night? Heading into lockdown stage three. You know, <laughs> again, I don't know. I never left, uh, I never left stage two, <laughs> really. I, uh, I, should, I should promote my stream one more time. Special lockdown club is don't leave lockdown. There we go. Self promotion. Feels weird, but it's what you gotta do. Anyway, let's do things. Welcome along. Let's get this show on the road. Uh, we have. <clears throat> don't talk about lockdown club for my sanity. Yeah, well. <laughs> I'm, I'm focusing on my suburb now, because my suburb's doing really well, so I'm just excluding everybody now. <laughs> anyway, um, so big, big news on the GitHubs. Check it out. Uh, there's an issue here for curses and things. I think that happened last stream, or maybe this one. I don't know. This is cool, but I had some thoughts, my fellow train citizens. Excuse me, that's... That's that's his fault. Sorry. Uh, I had some thoughts, so I wrote some checkboxes, and I thought, you know, I should splurge out all of the thoughts in my head. Some of them happened min minutes before writing this post. Some of them didn't. Um, I was thinking about carriages, and thinking about how I really should do carriages. But I was thinking about this. If I put a train here, and it has three carriages, then it would be facing, well, actually it would be facing down, but okay. If I put a train here, and it has three carriages, it would be facing down, and then I would have to walk backwards and put a carriage down on this cell, which is fine, I can do that. But which way does the carriage face, right? And then I have to put one here. Or if I put a train here, I've got to walk backwards see this one. So either way, putting a carriage on this cell is fraught with problems. And I'm sure they're surmountable, but I also wouldn't be surprised if it's broken. In fact, let's have a look at the uh, good, old, good old trains too. <clears throat> I don't remember how this works in trains too, but Let's have a look. Oh, sound is on. Go away, sound. I don't want sound, I have music. So if I put a train here... Okay, that worked. If I put a train here... Okay, that worked. But what if I put a train here? Okay, so that worked. Oh, there you go. Apparently, it's not an impossible bug to fix. But still... Um, you know, I just... I don't know. It felt weird, and I was thinking about, like, there's a part of this game that I like the uh, the realism of, right? I like that it speeds up and slows down slowly. But it's not very realistic to just, like, magic a train to appear. So I thought, well, let's have trains come out of sidings or something. Let's have trains appear in some kind of logical way. And so that's why I logged all this stuff. 
Why don't the build train span multiple cells? Um, I don't think so. I think I think I'll cheat and not do that. Um, kind of already have code that fixes it. Ish, there's a Y track edge case. Yeah, I'm I'm sure. Yes, the same the same tricky decisions here also have to happen here. Whoops. Where if you put a train here, does the train go that way? Does this train go around? You know. I'm sure it's not impossible to fix, but I thought, you know what, I don't mind uh, if it's a little bit more difficult to place trains because then eventually some, something needs to get to gameplay in this stupid thing, right? Uh, but there's lots of steps. So, so, for example, it would be really nice if you, let's say you put a train maker thingy, whatever they're called here, the train will go this way, join this loop, right? Oh, it'll, yeah, and then it'll come back here and it will go back and try to go back into the train maker, which, you know, it's not going to work. There's no way at the moment for us to have a straight track with a thing coming off it. Um, I mean, I guess you could put, you, you could do it because you can do it like if you put the train maker there, then it'll join this loop and go that way, but ah, it's just annoying. So, anyway, I logged a bunch of things. Sorry, I didn't log a bunch of things. I typed out a bunch of things. Uh, feel free to read it and um, you know <laughs> or not and maybe we'll never get there but anyway until then we have some PRs which one should I do first uh, let's go order of creation a 3d mini game to refuel the trains well they're electric Scott so there's no re refueling but yes signals that's right, Chad. I'm very excited for signals. I want to be able to change those Y tracks and go. Click, 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 click. Um, did you read? Oh, if you read, actually, look at this. Wait a minute. Look at this far future item. Uh, we're a far, far future programmatic control of points. How cool does that sound? I just got an email from Jim's mowing. Thank you, Jim. Um, I'm really dying to see what this email from Jim's mowing is. Sorry. <laughs> Anyway, um, okay, let's do a sponsor. No sponsors, unfortunately. All right, the first iteration towards the introduction of terrain. Let's do this, uh, <coughs> excuse me, let's do this PR so that Darren can go to bed. I'm fairly sure this is all he's hanging around for. Oh my God, Darren. Oh no, you have to, you have to get out now Darren that was terrible hello Voigt Voigtkampfil Voigtkampfil Voigtkampf what's Voigtkampf why do I know that name or the I know that I don't know hello a C sharp C sharp developer yes am I a C sharp is that what it says somewhere did I write C sharp twice or am I I don't see very sharply from Blade Runner that's it Voigtkampf thank you very much the Voigtkampf test yes got it thank you very much I haven't actually seen Blade Runner <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably alienating some people now, and I apologize, but I, you know, I can't lie. Uh, I hear it's good. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I hear some people like it. Oh, dear. What are we looking at here? This is very basic functionality and is mainly wiring the components excellent. This tool will raise a single cell by a flat amount. And it was a render. All right. So Darren is working on terrain. So that's what we're reviewing. And uh, deliver <laughs> Gillette refills. <laughs> what has gotten into you, Darren? You're on fire. You're going to waste all your good material. It's a six week lockdown, Darren. Just slow down. <laughs> Pump the brakes. Uh, a terrain map has an add terrain method. I mean, I'd go with add, but you know, whatever. This is, uh, that looks wrong because this should be nullable, right? Maybe, maybe not. Um, this does make me think, where's the code? Because we have this neighbors. Yeah, we have uh, track neighbors. I wonder if neighbors could be made generic for this because things like count is probably useful maybe to you and don't know. Although, see, this uses null, but I'm guessing you're not using null because you don't have nullability there. 
Um, they should be there for one another. Yes, neighbours. Well, I mean, maybe tracks and terrain. Maybe they can become good friends. Um, <laughs> terrain is only populated if it has altitude. Yeah, so this should return null, right? Maybe? Hey, thank you for following. Still no sound effects. I'm supposed to get sound effects when someone follows or something, right? And I tested that this week, and it worked. Ugh, nothing. Nothing. I'm tempted to test it again. But I don't know why, because it clearly didn't work. Let me just check. OBS, yes, right. Mm. The email from Jim's Mowing is about sound. If look, if Jim's Mowing wants to help me with OBS, I am more than. Nope, I didn't hear that. Did you hear that? Does the sound come through for you? I really don't know what I'm doing. Very soft. Oh, really? Well, see, the problem is if I turn that up. And make the music really loud. I'm gonna test it. Jim streaming. I wouldn't be surprised if Jim streaming production is a thing because everyone's getting in on the act, and it's not like you can buy a webcam. So you just call up Jim's webcams. He comes and delivers a webcam and mic, boom arm, shock mount, gets you on the internet. All the kids are doing it. We're gonna make a. He's a, he's a pretend Twitch follow. See, I heard that. I heard the test. Maybe I'm hearing the test from the browser window that I'm testing in. See, I'm, I'm very clever. Oh no, the site is muted. Okay, can you hear this? Because I heard that, but I didn't hear it before. Yes, the train, the train has derailed. You're right. Okay, right. Back to work. Back to work. What are we doing? Hello, Darren. I'm reviewing your PR. Uh, yeah, I wonder if you should have a... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run this here. You should have a... I'm reviewing it. I swear, I'm going to start a review. <clears throat> see? Except you can see that I'm the owner. I shouldn't show that. Um, terrain has a column and a row and an altitude. Shouldn't that be height? I don't know. Procrastinating till we run out of time. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get some excitement going just to keep myself awake. And, you know, if all of you fall asleep, that's your own problem. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, now, I would not normally have a variable for this. But uh, I changed teams last week, and the new team I'm on, I feel like they like temporary variables, and I'm getting used to it, and it's it's not bad. It's, it's interesting. Uh, get a numerator, that's pretty boring. Get terrain or default. Uh, excuse me? Jeez. How do I do, how do I do the suggestion thing? Is it that? Is it a suggestion? Format your code, Darren. Jeez. Uh, expression body. Yeah, I mean, you know, I probably would these days. You removed the spaces? Okay, so just so you know, this is all C sharp, not F sharp. You need to be a little bit. We have to ration. <laughs> Didn't you? <laughs> the other one I wanted to not talk about it. Uh, I'm just going to do this. Um, because I feel like I'm trolling you, and this is fun. To just be really pedantic with my review comments. Ah, dear. Get terrain adjacent. This being called adjacent, I'm sorry, no. It's not adjacent to anything, it's just a, a terrain. A terrain? A terrain. A terrain. Say that fast. Okay, so this never returns null. That's interesting. So get neighbors, I mean, it could still work for you. It's just that count will always be four, but you kind of maybe, hmm, that's interesting. Out var, editor config allows it. Hmm. Must. Var settings are funny. It's hard to get the var settings right. There's only three knobs you can control in editor config, and I don't know that I have them set up right. We have a terrain tool. Should I be testing this? Maybe I'll test this later. 
train tool. We had a train turn five. It's always valid. Okay. Uh, takes the train map. That's fine. This looks exciting. What the? Did you mean to add this? Why? 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 Float? No. Like. No. Get rid of it. Yuck. Horrible. Why? No. There you go. Um, but also, why do you need this? Like, coords can't possibly, row and column cannot possibly be float, right? This kind of scares me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you need column 2.85, thank you. Exactly. This kind of scares me. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what's happening because. No, well, that's, that's alright then. You've convinced me. Curse you and your strong arguments. You want to keep things cell level. That make I don't understand. That's why you would have the means. That's one cell. I don't give a shit about viewport stuff. No, but what? Yeah, but I'm um, okay. We'll get there. Uh, this seems wrong. This would go uphill in some some planes. <laughs> seems weird. Center of cell. Yes. Wait, you want the hills drawn on top of the trains? Are these all? Have you made all of the trains subterranean? Feels like terrain is maybe <laughs> to decide. <laughs> terrain is precedence. <laughs> so this is the this is the train game. You can't see any trains. They're all subterranean. So therefore, they're all on a level plane moving around. But there's a very extensive hill system on top. <laughs> I'm going to have to try this out just to see what hills on top of trains look like. Um, contour level. Generate list of contour points for each contour level. Ooh. Let's try saying that twice. Um, cool. Go do the thing, the thing. Draw the contour line. You're generating on every render? All right. It's probably quick. Uh, order list from distance from point. First nearest, second nearest. How do you know there's... This seems dangerous first. What doesn't this throw? How do you know there's three points? I'm just going to write this. There you go. Just stating my religious views. can never be less than four so if I click once do I get four contour points in the corner of a cell or something is that how that works um, we have a paintbrush which we also don't need to create every time the corner of each edge yeah cool that makes sense um, yeah so these are ints, aren't they? Oh wait, contour point. What's a contour point? I don't even know. I'm lost already. There's too many vars. What's a contour point? God damn it. <laughs> Ooh, there's a plus there. Just noticed that. I mean a space. Um, I left that because we may want different brushes for each level. Yeah, fair enough. Seriously, what's a contour point? Oh, it's a contour point. Okay. Need more, less vars. A cell X, Y. In pixels or in... So like this implies it's in... It's in cells. Mm. So I guess, are you saying, are you doing this is the column plus 0.5 or something? Um, wait, doesn't... Doesn't something already do that? I think the drawing of the track already does the plus 0.5 thing. I think you don't need... Yeah. I think you don't need the float 
to get the coords to viewport pixels with a float. I think you just get the get the coordinates of the cell, but then use the cell size to know how big it is to offset. Um, rather than a float, because a float col is weird. Halfway between cells and a half cell. Yeah, but so you would just get the coordinates of the cell and then add on half a cell size and you get the same result. But like column 2.5 just makes no sense. Um, yeah, okay, that makes sense why you have the float there though. Now. Um, okay, so what is, oh, this is we're generating our list. I love that I've just realized I'm I'm just streaming in a giant gray rectangle to you all. This is excellent use of space. <laughs> you know. Send me an extra comma. No, I like the extra comma. It's good that we allow that. Sorry, Scott. Overruled. Um, ew. Are you not a try get value or a try add person? I'm shocked. Um, oh, wow. Look, a list of funks that we always. Okay. I mean, I guess. You could also just have four lines of code instead of the seven lines of code that this is. But hey, that's you do you. Um, actually, you know, track track neighbors. Oh, this could be good. Track neighbors here could be i enumerable. So you could just get the neighbors. That'd be nice. Yeah, and this is constantly like this is allocating a list of four funks every time, every frame. Mm. Terrible. And these, now hang on. If that's a trend, this <laughs> this is a singleton. So these will always point to the same location. <laughs> Excellent. Um, oh my god, calculate bordering contour point if adjacent terrain is lower. Man, I need, I, I need my eyes checked. That was hard to read. <laughs> Can you um, make the method names longer, please? I think uh, just use up the f <laughs> use up the full width that GitHub is allowing you here. All forty characters. <laughs> um, To embrace the brace, the brace, the brace lifestyle is the way to be. <sighs> Plus the fact that it's actually hard to read on this window. God. Um, okay, I'm not even gonna bother. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna review the generate code. I'm happy for that. You, you do you, my friend. Uh, I, I, lo I love this passing of the funk that comes from a loop. It's so cool. Uh, just for the record, this is fine. You don't need braces if it's one liner, but two lines banned. Um, remember, does not access it. Start can be marked as static. I'm an excellent reviewer, and I noticed that myself. Um, <laughs> do, 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 do. Adjacent source. Well, what is this method? I forgot. Find contour point between adjacent terrain. I'm going to test this because I don't. Yeah, this all looks fine except this. Yeah. And uh, track parameters is terribly named, but we will come more about that later. Someone <laughs> this <laughs> code of conduct. Watch this clip. Um, can't do a point list of points. Oh my god! Oh, static. Cool. Hey, look, a static method. You can't hear that, right? Because Crisp locks that out. What if I talk at the same time? <laughs> um, 
okay we have the square root of the first column minus the second column times first column minus the yep mm -hmm, math run away integer divide is an integer divide the other way pythagoras mm, never heard of him uh cool yeah i mean look this code is even identical to the code just above it <laughs> Uh, yeah. All right. Cool. I am. Can I do? Can I do pull requests in here? Oh no, I can't. Do I have the GitHub extension? Uh, yes, I do. Oops, wrong one. I do not want application insights in this program. Okay. So uh, open. Oh, I want to double click and let's show the world your good work that's what i'm doing check out i'm gonna whoops wrong browser i'm gonna submit this review Now, if I request changes, is that vastly different from commenting? I don't know. I've submitted my review. You may do with it as you wish. All right, we have our thing. Let's try out some terrain. I can't wait to see the triangles. Nor can I. Stops merge until change is approved. Well, you couldn't merge unless the changes were approved anyway. I mean, I get it. It draws a little orange circle, but maybe it just because I'm a lone wolf. Oh, oh, what the? Come on, dude. The using directive. How did you even get this far? No, seriously. How did you build? You shouldn't have been able to run this. Uh, error, error. This should be empty. Static, static, some vars. Hmm. Oh, this isn't even you. Yuck. I'm gonna turn that off. That Linda is not my dad. No, but it's it's all powerful. Did you compile this at all? <laughs> Did it build? Like, I think even if you compile from the command line, it won't let you. Oh no, wait, error. Oh, I'm running it. Never mind. False alarm. You ran it. Oh, okay. I guess my. Uh... Oh, maybe the editor config says it's an error and therefore the compiler doesn't. I thought the compiler used editor configs. All right, so what do we do? We've got to turn on the terrain layer. Wait. Oh, I think order zero. Oh, is zero below everything? Oh, I don't even know my own game. <laughs> I thought zero was on top. Okay, so now I click. <gasps> If I click again, oh, it doesn't like get bigger. Does this join up? Oh my god! Oh, this is ice. Oh, fix high first. Oh, that's cool. This is really nice. So then now can I can totally imagine you click this again and it gets higher. That's really cool. Very nice. Okay, so it is below. Oops, wrong one. And put some more over here. Oh, this is great. The best thing about it is what we've got maybe 50 terrain things there. So there's um, 50 times four. Yeah, there's quite a lot of uh, pointers to delegates being created every frame. <laughs> let's let's check out the uh, the stats. I do hate math. That's why I said a lot. Uh, where's Terrain draw time. Oh, look at that. It's very fast. <laughs> Those delegates are still faster than a single piece of my track, so don't feel too bad. Uh, that looks really cool. I love it. I can definitely see where this is going. Obviously, there's some some crossing here to detect, um, but that should be all right. The, the big question... Oh, hello. We have a, a friends. Join together. Ah, oh, they join together. It'll be very interesting to see. So that line, is that in the middle of a cell? 
Yeah, it looks like it's in the middle of a cell. Uh, oh no, it's on the edge. Hmm. So yeah, interesting to see what you do with the speed of the train uh, in those situations. But you know what? That's awesome. Well done. For your first PR, good work. I'm gonna, uh... There you go. You deserve some applause. Uh, let's go to the other PR. Oh, you know what? I should... Uh, I should find my... Uh, this one. I don't want to start a com... What? I want to reply. God, I hate GitHub sometimes. There we are. All right. On to the other thread-based game timer with diff sleep. I could have a diff sleep. Ugh, let's be honest. All right. Oh, a new project. Holy. It's gotten zeros here, boys. All right. Performance tests. Uh, timer, yeah, why wasn't I injecting a timer? Faux pas on my behalf. Game timer, that's fine. Go restart, dispose, oh, go rest, dispose, that's good. Well, milliseconds before invocation that we should switch from a slow waiting timer to fast yields. Holy. Okay. Thread loop. So this is starting a thread and then just doing thread sleeps, I'm guessing. It sounds fair. Oh, double double whiles. Hello. Oh, is it able to not enable to what was happening here? Yeah, huh? Oh, we sleep for a second. Oh, okay. See I thought you might be working out how long to sleep for. If we're not yet ready to invoke then be kind to other threads and let them have some pie. But we don't sleep because we're close. Okay, cool. All right, okay. So we'll sleep for up to 12 milliseconds. Oh, no, we'll sleep for up to four milliseconds away from next invoke. Okay. Thread sleep is odd. It can take six milliseconds on top of a given time. Wait, you mean a thread sleep one can take six milliseconds? Oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. I mean, I totally, like, sleep isn't guaranteed to come back by any stretch of the imagination. I find this interesting, though. Like, okay, we're really close, so we won't sleep. But instead, we'll do a sleep zero, which says, do anything you want. <laughs> like, this this could take, meh, who knows. But, uh, yeah, that's cool. Uh... This is wrong, obviously. You need to pass in a sender. Come on. Conventions exist. Um, it's disposable. But you got rid of the dispose. But it's not disposable. Is I timer disposable? Maybe our time is disposable. Um, <laughs> you can just delete code, you know. We have Git. It's okay. Um, although, actually, there's probably... Uh, I wonder if there's a test that use that directly. And tests, which I'm definitely reviewing in depth. Cool. Well done. They look like great tests. Um, cool, let's give it a go. It looks nice. Fine. Should be good. It should allow for my crappy code because cannot oh what? Cannot check out the, oh uncommitted changes. Um, yeah, at the moment I'm getting, I think I'm getting like 70, oh, come on, refresh. I think I'm getting, hey, I heard that. Thank you for following. Feelsley, Peelsley, P. Heelsley. I'm guessing your first name starts with a P. Urgh. Why will you not? Can I check out as your working directory has uncommitted changes? No, it doesn't. Fresh. Paul, I guessed right. 
Welcome, Paul. Thank you for joining me. Where are you from? You an Aussie? Are you up early in the U UK? Oh, it's a Paul that Darren knows. Hello, Darren's Paul. Or Paul's Darren. Um, Paul, welcome. Uh, it is free to follow, but you do need to give us one embarrassing fact about Darren. So feel free to make something up if you have no idea who Darren is. Let's face it. I don't know how he got here. Um... <gasps> Hi, JT. Thank you for following, JT. What took you so long? <laughs> Just kidding. It's okay. All right. Let's critique Scott's code. Turn it on the diagnostic. Oh, see, I'm still 70. That's, hmm. That's a bit fast, isn't it? Um, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just making it work, I guess. Should that be going up to 120 FPS? Does that seem right? Oh, the trains have all stopped. <laughs> Likes to wear socks around the office. Oh, I know. No, I know. I've experienced Darren socks. And yes, it is It is embarrassing. He should feel ashamed. And um, although, to be fair, I'm wearing slippers. So who can argue? The, uh, the FPS there looks a bit fast. Did that check out? Yeah, it must have, because it's complaining about the game timer. I don't know. Where's where where did you put it? Game what'd you call it? Third timer. What's the interval? Sixteen, I'm guessing. Ah, game loop interval. Wait a minute. You got rid of setting the interval, didn't you? You did. Um, that seems odd. So the game loop has the right interval. Um, a single timer. Oh, right. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Hmm. Is that what we want? And actually... Hmm. That means that all of the game processing is happening on this thread, doesn't it? Shouldn't you be invoking this on a different thread? Or is that what Invoke does? I don't think Invoke does that. This seems weird. I mean, it, it, it's okay, because obviously you're sleeping for the right amount, so it doesn't matter, but it still seems weird. I'd rather the timer thread go to sleep while the game thread keeps going. I guess I could explicitly create a game thread too. Um, and then that also means that this event is going to fire off the game move and the render right after each other, but without being able to control which one comes first, which... I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe that makes sense. Maybe it doesn't. Um, it definitely looks scary <laughs> that you're like <laughs> relying on something else to set the interval. It's kind of weird. Let's see. You um, what's the thing? You had a comment here. So you're getting 60 frames a second in this picture with lots of trains, and I'm getting 70 and 120 and whatever, which is strange um anyway i don't mind i'm gonna um i'm just gonna do this uh. there you go you have more threads equals less switching Oh, I have more threads, as in more CPUs. I do have a lot of CPUs. I don't like to brag, but... Um, well, should we, maybe we should merge this and I'll just delete it. Alright, let's just merge this. <laughs> Foghorn noob. Oh well. Shouldn't... Now, okay. I know nothing about development. I know nothing about game development. 
but isn't the point of all of your fancy maths that it doesn't matter how fast your PC is? I'm just, just putting it out there. Uh, but, you know, I know nothing, so it's cool. You do you. Let's go to Master and let's pull some changes. Money is still on the minimap read or double callering. Yeah, that would double. Oh, right. Uh, that's possible. Would make sense why I got up to 120. Um, does this have a counter? I don't even know where the FPS counter is. It's in game. Hmm. I don't think so. The game render is called by the train delegate. The minimap delegate does not call game render, it just renders itself. So I don't think so. I mean, it could be affecting, it'd be affecting the numbers because it's taking time, but that time is not being counted-ish, but yeah. Anyway, doesn't matter. Let's, uh, Let's find ye old game timer and delete him. Because we don't need him, hopefully. Now I find all of the tests that are broken. <laughs> Probably lots of them. Um, well, I do have a UML diagram, uh, JT, actually. Thank you for asking. Um, UML diagram are available to enterprise subscribers. So, um, <clears throat> As a follower, you do not get access, I'm afraid, as a, as a mere follower. <laughs> the, uh, the enterprise plan is vastly expensive. Uh, we actually go through a tender process, so um, there's a form available on the website, I believe. All this talk of my CPU cores and the build is so slow and it couldn't copy because, oh dear. See, that's not good, because I'm not running the game right now. So this is where we restart Visual Studio. Actually, while I'm restarting Visual Studio, let's just clean up a little too. I think I did this already, but I'm doing it again. Oh god, I have a whole bunch of remotes now. I don't want them. Um... I'm going to guess that it's remove. Oh, guessed right. I'm a git wizard. Tab completion. All right. Cool. Let's run Visual Studio. Trains. This is very chill. So, here, oh my gosh, almost an hour. I've written no code. This is excellent. <laughs> There's no pressure to write code when you don't write any code. Um, okay, let's do some work. What are we doing? Custom curses. You know, curses would be fun. Curses would be fun. I guess we should just draw the cursor. Um, the question is, is it okay to just draw the cursor every frame or do we need to draw it more often? I was watching a stream last night by a young man by the name of Scott uh, Holden, you may have heard of him, and he had a cursor on screen that he was drawing and it looked fine. Do tools currently fire once on click? Uh, I can't remember where that, there is code to not fire until you move off the cell, I think, I just can't remember where it is. Uh, so, yeah, so, okay, so here's what happens. If you return true for is valid, 
then we will execute once on click. If you don't return true, then you get the dragging. Uh, if you're a draggable tool, you get the drag events, and that checks this last drag scale thing, I believe, uh, down here. So you should only get one per cell, but clicks, I don't know. Scott, what have you done? Thank you very much for the subscription, JT or Scott. I don't know. Oh, that's not an enterprise license. No, no, no. no. I'm not making no UML diagrams. <laughs> You're nodding, yeah, mm, that's good. Mm -hmm. Do you wanna do you wanna jump on? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just have you in the corner nodding. Do, 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 do. Um, excellent. Please type the word nod every time you nod, because you know I need the feedback. It's very important to me. Uh, custom curses. Alright, let's think about custom curses. The problem with custom curses is mm, actually no. It's not a problem. I was going to say, the problem with custom curses is they have to be rendered, which means they have to live in pixel world, and tools don't. But actually, tools do. Tools live entirely in pixel world because they work on mouse coordinates. Which actually makes me think we should maybe move this interface. Oh, maybe we don't need to. Uh, yeah. Somewhere? Yeah, see these tools? They probably shouldn't be there. This eye tool probably shouldn't be there. So okay, so we can have tools can have a render method on them, I guess. Maybe? Nod? Nod nod. Um Alright, let's think about that. Is that horrible? Uh let's go with the train tool. A train's cursor should be a train. <coughs> Um, which means, which means it would need to render, but then it would get a canvas. Yeah, that'll work. All right, let's, let's go with that. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Uh, you know what? I'm going to make it easy for myself though. Uh, see, no, I'm not. Cause I was going to say I'll start with track, uh, but track is in the wrong layer because it's up here <sighs> oh wait what am i saying tracks don't tools don't deal with mouse positions at all i made a liar of myself huh mm. oh so it must be just draggable tools where's the draggable tool interface Even draggable tool doesn't. Oh, what? Yeah, okay. Draggable tool. Whoops. Draggable tool deals with X and Y. Okay, and that's in the rendering layer. All right, so we're going to have to do it in here. So let us have a, <coughs> a new class, please. Thank you, Visual Studio. And we're going to call it I Custom Cursor. So, um, I guess it's just got a render method, which takes a canvas and just for Darren, we'll go and ink the float. Oops, we should name this because, you know, compilers. I guess that's all we need start with that so a train tool uh, let's go point at all first this is an I custom cursor implement that far um, so you know what I'm actually gonna don't even need that Let's have the canvas do the work. Render the cursor at zero, zero. So all we're going to do here is go canvas 
draw circle at zero zero radius of 20 and paint style fill and hello colors what's a good color for a uh, cursor light cyan light blue light purple all right that should be good why are you complaining the property or index that cannot be used in this context is set as a unit Oh wow, that's funny. They're not supposed to be internal. That's funny. I just never happened to have used it before. Uh, okay, cool. <clears throat> so that should be all it takes to actually be a cursor, but now I have to render one. So rendering one is interesting. Mm. Could do it in draw how do we get the mouse position uh oh we don't get the mouse position that's interesting so we're gonna need what do we got a hover i'm guessing So mouse x equals points dot x and then mouse y. Uh, cyan is only denied for a minute. I don't rule out the possibility of me being completely wrong and having no sense of style. So after we render the game, sure, why not? So let's translate to mass X and mass Y. And let's go and twist on pool dot value is I custom cursor. Do this. Um better do the old save and restore. Now, I don't think this canvas wrapper clears, but we'll find out. Let's see if this works. Is it the wrapper or the skier canvas? It's both. I'm using both. And I probably should just use the same wrapper as well, but we'll get there. We might get there. We might not. We are building. Build, 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 build. Seriously, I don't know why it takes so long to build. I suspect I need to reinstall Windows. I just don't know how. I tried it once and I got denied at every turn. Probably need to like call the help desk or something, but I really don't want to. But still, how about that music? Oh no, I couldn't copy again. Uh, task manager. Yeah, it could be. I, I actually think it's just timing out because it's running. It's probably not that slow, really. Um, love it. Chrome, Chrome, Chrome. God knows, God knows, God knows. Wait, two dev ends? That ain't right. <laughs> I've only got one running. You'll have to take my word for it. Train, 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 trains. Trains. How did that happen? How does that happen? Too much dev for one dev end. <laughs> oh, I know what the dev end is. I was mucking around with stuff this morning. Okay. Hey, look, it's a cursor. But it's not working. Uh, hover more. I mean, it kind of worked once. 
Oh yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so I'm guessing a hover interaction's not working. Um, all right, what's a hover interaction when he's at home? Go to, go to base. Go to base. This base. Um, should that be called? No. Uh, okay, I think I found the problem. <laughs> Um, are there any references to this? No. Okay, so I found the problem. <laughs> well, that doesn't make sense. Okay, WPF drawable control. So on mouse move, we call drag. If we're not in a touch return, am I supposed to call on hover here? Yeah, let's let's try this. Hover. Perfect for the physical posh copy we can push a day one update to fix it. Perfect for the physical copy? I'm lost, sorry. Let's find out which dev end we need to kill. Uh, can I not see process ID here? Uh, go to details. That one. Oh, the one that's using 1.8 gig of RAM. What a shock. still could what oh. is this not exiting ever now have I introduced a new thing now Scott what are the chances this is the timer not being disposed <laughs> um, that'd be funny yay curses Oh yeah, look, when the, <laughs> the cursor stays put when you touch the screen. <laughs> oh dear. That's a really big cursor. That's a big touch target. But it works, look at that. You go to one that doesn't have a cursor, it goes away. Alright, so we need to draw the cursor when we're dragging as well, and probably should hide the cursor from the actual Windows thing remove the ability <laughs> this is now a cursor game i'm actually impressed at how fast that is or well, maybe i guess i'm moving my mouse slower than 16 milliseconds um oh no object reference not set to any. which object which reference uh in it action what uh this one is there an action in here? This one. Oh. I'm guessing it's one of them. Cool. Now, did this leave around an orphan process again? <laughs> and if it did, okay, it didn't. Good. All right, I maybe trust you a little bit more now against God, but maybe not. Um, do I want to call hover? No, that seems weird. Let's call. All right, we're going to do this. We're going to uh, set mouse position. And we're just going to shove that in there. And in there, and in there, and that's it, right? Yeah, I think that's good. Get rid of that, that works. Uh, the canvas wrapper seems fine. Pointer tool, we'll make this a bit smaller. Oh, that's what I need to do. Can I, can I make this 
not have a cursor? I'm guessing I can't. Native durable control. Cursor? No. Huh. Don't trust you, trust the tests. Well, what? The t you have tests for the fact that it's not being disposed? I find that hard to believe. Uh, let's see. <laughs> there is no supporting comment for cursors, I'm going to say. Which is interesting. Can I, like, set a random property? Set binding value. No. Um... View property change. What if I fire a property change for cursor? That feels dodge. Uh, this could be a problem. There is a dispose test. If your DI calls it or not is another question. I don't think the DI calls dispose, but I was just thinking that when you close the windows, it should. <laughs> um, okay, so this is definitely a gap in comment. So we're going to want to set the cursor property of the main window. And I have no idea how to do that. <coughs> I wonder if I can like there's environment, right? I mean, that's not system, but environment though. Um, Uh, here. Can you like get stuff from the environment somehow? Um, no, this is a view. Contextual object. Environment data. Oh, it has to be an attribute. I'm sure there's a way to do this. So I can call the state manager, but I don't think that helps me. Get environment. Nope. Ah. P invoke. <laughs> I mean, I could, but I don't worry. <sighs> Current read properties. So Like, I could call view property changed and say, hey, a cursor has changed. But I can't easily... I don't think I can listen. Oh, look, view not set environment. Oh, this isn't a view. What am I saying? Oh, okay, so I can capture the view there. Nope, that's a native view. Doesn't help me. I can cast it to a view. Well, that's just weird. Hmm. This could put a spanner in the works of things but anyway let's see so if we go set environment here we go to show cursor and set it to false and that'll do and I guess yeah let's just set it to true otherwise we'll be lazy now can we read that in here and 
hook up an event to do this. Uh, you see, current view is not right. No, see, I don't want to get the environment. I want to be notified by the environment. Uh, unless, unless this is going to cause a redraw or re-render. Let's find out. Only went over the canvas. Yeah, the problem with, I mean, I could just turn it off for the canvas probably, but if not all tools are going to have cursors, then it doesn't help me. But let's just see what happens. Uh... A break point here. Let's just see if the body gets re uh, gets refreshed when if the body gets refreshed when you are when I set the environment, then I could probably do it here. Or actually, I wonder if I could do it here anyway. Okay, so we set the environment. Nothing happens. Well, no. Okay, it's not refreshing the body. Hmm. See, so I can do it in the body when current tool changes, maybe. So I could, I could do this. Does this have a dot cursor method? No. Hmm. Let's 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 try this. Show cursor. This is gonna be a true or false. And this is gonna be based on on our frame controls oh no i'd need this to be a funk and these aren't these don't take bindings do they oh i'm sorry darren uh well there is another option and that would be to just move the render method onto iTool so all tools have to have cursors. But yeah, I can't actually... I can't do anything about this not having a cursor. Well, can I? Let's go. Show cursor false. And layout extensions. Uh, what other extensions we got? Anything useful? Controls extensions. Drawing extensions? That'll do. So, public static. Um, presumably this returns a view, right? Uh, oh, T. Okay. I'm going to put it in here. I know this is bad. I'm just going to do it anyway. Switch it on and off. You only want to hide when it's over the game canvas. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can set it for the game canvas. Um, so show cursor. T, alt, T. Show. The view. Now, question here what can I set set property in context that sounds good what about set value let's try this one the value is show property is null that's a surprise. I mean, not that it's null, that it's optional. I suspect set property in context is not the right thing to do. Oh, whoops, I'm doing all of this in edit and continue. <laughs> this is probably a bad thing. 
Um, what does this do? Oh, this just sets environment. <laughs> what? This is so weird. Gestures. I wonder if I should put cursor. I don't even know what I'm doing. All right, so now we go to WPF Durable Control. And where's our property map? Uh, no, it's a it's the durable control handler, isn't it? This one. This is got our property map set mapper. Virtual view. Yes, sorry, I should explain what I'm doing, shouldn't I? Um, yeah, Comet is a UI framework that I decided to muck around with. Um, clearly haven't investigated enough to know what I'm doing. Yeah, you know, totally, that's fine. It'll work itself out. Um, but this is what will become uh, system.maui. So .NET's official thingy, base mapper. This is what I want. I want a map. So, so what these mappers do, right? This maps this label pretend value to the real thing, which is in WPF is content. This is what I want. I just want to somehow do it here. <laughs> But this doesn't. Does this add a mapper? Nope, this just sets a mapper. <clears throat> oh, update properties. I wish I knew what I was doing. I really do. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah, so this is what's going to become system.maui MVU, um, which is good and bad because it's good because it means this isn't going away which is nice but it's bad because it kind of doesn't get a lot of love anymore which is totally fine and it's not lack of love that is causing this problem it's me not knowing what i'm doing um yeah that just sets a map up i thought you could associate multiple mappers or something I've definitely seen examples of this. Alright, but this is a draw so this is a drawable control. So this is Do we have a native view here? The native view is a WPF drawable control. Yeah, okay. This is what I need to do. <laughs> and presumably we don't ever read anything off this. No. Native durable control. Oh, well, we can get to the native durable control. Mm, I could cast that. I mean, that's really dodgy. Let's just try that for fun. <laughs> um, hang on, where where's my delegate gone? Did I close it? Okay, let's just uh, native control control. If we cast this as a uh, framework element. Boy, is this dodgy. Uh, I don't know how to, how do I set a cursor to none? What is this? Cursor is not null. Cursor display. Default value is defined as null. However, the practical default at runtime will come from a number of fact. Well, thank you. Uh, is there a cursor? There is. Can we go none? We can. 
and we can go arrow and we can do question mark so that on iOS and Android, no we can't. I think this will actually work. This is very dodgy. Uh, dodgier than Scott's been invoke? No. I'm gonna say no. Um, all right, let me clean this up. Uh, so I am I am questioning my use of Comet. I must admit, I am thinking that I should just draw the whole UI in Skia. Um, but that also sort of feels like creating my own UI framework, which is you know just the type of distraction I need. Come on, build. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just uh, it's I haven't put effort into it and. Well, that works. <laughs> that actually works really well. Uh, mm, that's... Disappear, appear, disappear, appear. That is very, very well. <sighs> Damn it. Why do hacky things look so good? <laughs> Yeah. All right. There's got to be a way to do this properly. I just don't know what it is. <laughs> do light fix, absolutely. <clears throat> so we need to map. Okay, let me think about what we want to do here. We want to map a property. Well, any, I mean, anything I do here is going to be dodgy, right? This, this, my fork of Comet is already diverged. So there's that. Um, added to view. That's totally okay. What's well, totally okay? That anything I do here is, what? Um, I mean, if you think about it, WF looks obviously... Oh, that's true, it does. This loops in the WF. Does this, yeah, but see, this doesn't, this doesn't need to live in the WPF layer, is the thing. Um, there's nothing else WPF for you about it, right? So, yeah, this isn't, this is supposed to be cross platform, right? Comet is cross platform, and, and the reason, I, I'm pretty sure the reason we have control delegates is to abstract away from this drawable control stuff. Shaman interface on the call today. Yep, love your work. I mean, the fact is, iOS doesn't have cursors anyway, so you kind of want it to be ignored by iOS. I just need to know how to map. How to well, I need to know how to map the property and where to map it, and I just yeah, I need to sit down and look at examples from Comet again. Um, let's do this for now. It's at least better than better than it was. There we go. Can you change the shape of my physical finger on iOS? I mean, I can. I'm very clever. Um, you just send the right pulses. Yeah, this isn't great, but that's cool. I'll I'll do some research into comment off screen and uh, see if I can work it out. It should be possible to have this set an environment or a, sorry, set a property and then have that bubble up to here, which then maps the property or in here, this maps the property. So this is WPF specific. And so it's fine to map the cursor property of the drawable control onto the WPF drawable control. That's totally fine. Uh, and like this view property change stuff will all work. Yeah, I just don't know how to map a property on here without killing this mapper. Um, which is what I need to do. But that's cool, we'll leave that for now. Let's go to... Um, 
I feel like we should do something a bit better with curses though. Commands add workaround engines. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, it doesn't work. I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to work. I have no idea. Uh, I think I can add it. Uh, how, do I, how do I do this? Click there, click there. Oh, I've got to log in. I'm always going to log in a thousand times. Okay. I'm gonna There you go. <laughs> Engagement. All right. Uh pointers don't really need a cursor though. I'm going to say, but it kind of looks alright. Well, I mean, it doesn't look alright. Yeah. No, maybe I should leave it. Let me have a look at it again. I mean, it's the only one that actually, where the tool name actually is the name of a cursor. Like, a pointer is a thing. Um, I kind of, I think track is a nice one. And I wonder, oh, what's the bit? It's running somewhere again. Yep. Okay, hang on. Let's let's do this. Let's see if we can do some fanciness here. Let's see what is happening to our trains. We are in a thread helper run. Oh look, it's a timer. <laughs> oh dear. Why? <laughs> Why did you come in down the dispose? Uh, is this a running or just stop actually stop it? I can never remember. Trades. Hey, James Does Games. Thank you for the follow. I'm doing networking. Do I have a Twitter? I do have a Twitter. It's up there. It's up there, at the very top. I have a Twitter. And a YouTube. And a Discord. And a everything else. I have all sorts of things. I do have programming posts on Twitter sometimes, mostly complaining about uh, C-sharp code, uh, my job, or the horrible infrastructure of building Visual Studio. But you know, Calvin Wall. Is this a disposable? It is. Okay. So. Uh, no, wait. Sensible commits. Sensible commits. Allow custom versus tools and now I'm going to put back this dispose and I'm very curious to see whether this just breaks the whole game oh wasn't it in here oh it's not a field um, okay. Thank you, James. Thank you for hanging out. It was, it was, it was a short time, but it was good. Oh God, the casing on that is just terrible. I apologize, everybody, I've sailed your eyeballs. All right, let's see if this breaks the world. Well, thank you for retweeting my stream link. I have lots of friends who retweet my stream link, but it's really funny because like 
in particular the ones in the UK who retweet it like six hours later. It's like, what are you going to do? Anyway, uh, this looks cool. Purple cursors look fine. Interestingly, that's it. No, that makes sense. I think for a track cursor, I might make it snap to the grid. Okay, is train still running? It is. Okay. So that means that in here, main page dot save. Do I need to? Do I need to call dispose here? Is there a dispose? Nope. Hmm. I wonder how you're supposed to work. Tool preview. What's a what? Um, let's see if this breaks the world. Well, Scott's code wasn't disposing properly, but now it is, and. Oh no, it broke the world! <laughs> um, okay. That's kind of annoying. Oh, you know what, that... Ah oh, dear, that's the thread trying to join. But of course... Oh, not OBS. You've got to disable the timer before you can uh otherwise the join's gonna take a little while like an infinity oh no you did that's interesting why wouldn't that have Why that disposed it? The join didn't work then. Very strange. Man, I did not want to have to deal with threads. What have you done to me, Scott? <sighs> Abort. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I suppose that makes sense, actually. You're right. We don't really need to... Uh... We don't really need to join because nothing's going to happen. See what an abort does. Um, the DI, yeah, I mean the DI could clean up, I guess, but I don't know, maybe it does. Or maybe maybe not because they're singletons, I don't know. I didn't actually write the DI, I only wrote the disc service discovery, don't forget. I can't be blamed for the whole thing, only most of it. A thread abort is not supported. <laughs> this. This error message says, I couldn't throw an exception, so I've thrown an exception about the exception I couldn't throw. <laughs> oh, that's gold. I love that error. That's a great error. That's the failed to error successfully. <laughs> oh dear. Well, we killed it. <laughs> Just get a pop up. I mean, I guess I can actually just do this, right? Because then it'll just exit. Maybe. <laughs> How is Threadabort not supported by the platform? What platform? Like, it just throws an exception. Click. There we go, that worked. Okay, do we have an errant process? Uh, wrong view. One of these days I'll get this right. Looks good. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it. We'll just let the thread finish naturally, shall we? Uh, cool. Cool. Uh, fix shitty. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm 
now the final to finish. Good luck. That's a nice way of saying it. Um, all right. Two to a track cursor. Let's see how ugly a track cursor looks. Unfortunately, this means I need to move this tool and I need to put it somewhere better. I'm going to put it in. Do we have tools in rendering? Yeah, we do. Let's put it in here. Uh, based. <clears throat> wow. Track tool is not draggable, even though it supports dragging. I will never understand this program what I wrote. Uh, <laughs> I just won't. Okay, let's implement you. Um, I guess. Oh no. Now I need it. A track. Uh, no, I can use. I can use an injected track render. Yeah, we can do this. All right. So on this canvas. We want to render a track. Um, I guess that's fine to be zero, that's fine to be zero direction. Now let's just leave and see what happens. And why does this take a width? Is that a cell width? Why does that take a width? It does, it takes parameters not cell size. But this has its own parameters, right? It does. Okay, we're gonna fix this. Thanks for hanging out, JT. Have a good evening. I hope you learned about trains or whatever it is I'm doing here. I've honestly no idea sometimes. Um, track renderer, and we just get rid of this. And we implement the interface properly. And wait for the errors to go away. Uh, track clouds. Sure. All right, let's see if this works. I have no idea where this track is going to appear. I suspect it's going to appear in the wrong spot. But I could be wrong. Track. Oh my god, it's a. It's. Yeah, that works. I wasn't expecting that shape. But that totally works. In fact, it's actually kind of nice because it points to where it's going to draw. <laughs> it's almost an arrow, but it's a track. Uh, that's kind of funny. The fact is, no matter what I picked, it would look weird. Because what you really want is you want the cursor to be what direction a track would be if you placed it at this point. Which is... Uh, I don't know that I have the right methods for that. Um, but it would be fun to do that. Like, is that, do we still have that get best direction thing? No. Pseudo happy. <laughs> it's definitely not happy. Um, yeah, do we still, we had like determine best direction or something at some point? Set best track direction. <clears throat> hmm. Do I do I dare try this and just pretend that this track is in the grid? I mean, I could. It's going to refresh its neighbors, which is probably bad. Uh, hmm. Yeah, this. 
Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. What does get neighbors do? That just takes the column and rows. We can fake that. Gets it from the track layout, so that's cool. All you need to do is extract this method to a extract this to a method, right? Get. I think that makes sense. Yeah, let's see if our dynamic cursor works well. I don't even need to pass in. <clears throat> excuse me. I don't even need to pass in the uh, neighbors because we can give it the track layout. Oh no! Hang on. I need to tell it. I need to tell it where it's going to be, but will that affect where it's drawing? And I don't actually know where I'm going to be because the canvas has already been moved. Which means we're back to the custom cursor needing to know X and Y. Let's do this and we'll just have some fun. And we'll go track direction track dot get and I don't even know sure. Track. Let's give this a go. Um now our pointer tool needs to be updated. And our control delegate needs to um, map a dot. Now, uh, are these world pixels or viewport pixels? Uh, no, these are viewport pixels. Two chords. How do we do this? Do we just call you know, Oh look, they want floats. I don't care. See Darren, that's how you solve that problem. Alright, let's see if this works. My god, if this works, this is gonna be so cool. I actually think maybe we should render the cursor snap to the cell as well, but that might be weird. Oh, that'd be weird for the pointer. The height tool could recolor show a value for the attitude of each other. Yeah, I reckon the height tool should absolutely do that. <gasps> oh my god! What? Woo! Whoa! This is so weird. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's right. And then if I draw one there. Oh my god! <laughs> that's so cool! That's. <laughs> Yeah, it's in the top left corner. It needs to be in the center. It's uh, it's in the top left corner. But that is so cool. It works. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, that is really awesome. I love it. I love it. Yeah, so it's weird when you're drawing. But see, snapping it would actually work fine, wouldn't it? Hmm. I wonder if we do. We need to do the snapping here because this is doing the translate. <coughs> so we could do. Oh no, what did I press? Why do I have a spinner? I pressed F11. Stop. Stop debugging. What we could do here is go bool snap. And our pointer tool is 
says no, but our tractor. Says true, and then here uh, Okay, so we're gonna go think X to Y S X plus Y. If you're snapping, you may need to show cursor for it to feel natural. Yeah, that's a good point. We will see. So, if we are snapping cursor dot snap, then x and y equals pixel mapper plus well, viewport pixels by row and here we draw it x and y let's see what this happens i love the pixel mapper for just making all this stuff so easy it's so good you want to snap yeah hey, just call it twice it's great Okay, uh, oops, wrong window. How did that happen? Okay, so let's get some clear over here. It works! Oh, look at that! Oh, it's off by a pixel. That's hilarious. That's so cool. I love it. It, yeah, it feels a bit unnatural, I will admit. How cool is it though that it, it like, look, it's gonna become a corner! So good. It does feel a little unnatural and it, you get lost when you're over a track. Uh, that's that's a shame. That's a big shame. See there, I can't see it now. Huh. Yeah, okay, we can do this. Like not snapping uh, which no that won't be enough because now you if you go from pointer to track yeah that doesn't work but if you go to eraser then track yeah that's better yeah that's really nice see I was thinking about I, I was thinking about doing this in general like having what I was thinking was, if you did this, but you hook in to the is valid check of the tool, and you have it, so color itself red there because you can't put a track on a track. I never thought to do it with a cursor, but well, you know, it probably shouldn't be done with a cursor because of the whole snapping thing. It. It really is a preview function, isn't it? Like, it, it feels like a different function. I like it. I think it's a good function. I'm just not sure it makes any sense uh, as a cursor. Yeah, like that. That is going to turn this into a three-way track. I love it. That was a lie. <laughs> That's interesting. This is lying to me. Uh, let's check what happens if I pass in uh, happiness there. Right, right, right. If I don't ignore happiness, well, no, I'd have to ignore happiness for that because it is a three-way track. I wonder why that fails. I think there must be the two-pass nature of things because we put down a track and then we check its neighbour, but then changing it checks its neighbour again. I think. I think that's how it works. I don't remember. Yeah, no. Oh well. I like that. I like that as a mechanism, but yeah, I feel like it shouldn't be a cursor. 
I feel like it should be a tool preview function. And annoyingly, I also think it should have more control because, yeah, like there, you can't see the track, but I can't change the color of the track because I'm using the same renderer as the track, um, which is weird. Hmm. I'm in two minds about this one. What say you, audience? Keep it? Lose it? Fix it? Uh, um, somehow? Have both the mouse XY and snap XY, you could draw your pointer dot as well. Oh yeah, that's true. I could do that. Keep it for now. Hmm. Uh, let me do this. First of all. We also probably don't need to set the cursor on every frickin' um, every frickin' frame. But, you know. Element. Oh, right. Yes, makes sense. Mm. Keyboard. I blame my keyboard. I do like it though, it does look good. Uh... Okay, hang on. No, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. So, <clears throat> we are going to get rid of this, get rid of this, and do this properly. Uh, add a new interface, which is I reviewable. That's not what I wanted to paste. Where's my thing here? Okay. So this is render review, and we will give it the column and the row, and we will do the stuff. This one is render cursor, and we don't need anything. So here, what do we want to do? We want to do some stuff and all right. Make the terrain tool provable so you can see how the contours. Change. Yeah, exactly. If the terrain tool, it's not that it has a funny fu uh, custom cursor; it's that it previews what it's going to do. That's what I think is cool. The only thing is you kind of want to preview the stuff around it as well. Like in the track tool, you'd want to show that it was going to, yes, this is going to be vertical, but it's also going to change its neighbors. But we'll worry about that later. Um, so this is render preview. Preview, oh, it's not called cursor. That's the problem. And this is render cursor and we get rid of this and we get rid of this and since we don't need this and we don't need that either cool all right nice yep um yeah we can simplify this it's been a bit easier to read rather than reusing the same variables all over and over again. All right, cool. Previews and cursors are separate, that's good. The dragging of the, um, the tool actually makes 
uh, actually looked pretty good. I thought uh, I was su surpri yeah, surprised. I kind of thought it might um, sort of look jaggy and stuff, like as as it rendered the cursor horizontally, but then when you drag it, yeah, paints it vertically or something. But I thought it actually looked pretty good. Render. Just for good measure, call that column. And we will use best thing instead of var, sure. And we will simplify our object visualization. Okay. Wait. That could be in there too, right? again uh cool track yeah it disappears but that's okay i think i like it cool i'm gonna leave it like that eventually yeah i wouldn't mind if it automatically went red when his valid was false but then that's a bit weird because the rendering is inside the tool but so is the validity check so the train delegate here is not really adding much value i guess it could color the background in red but mm. and then that validity check oh, that's got a column in a row yeah it could do that it could just paint a little square in red, transparent red, if its validity is false, maybe. That might be interesting. I mean, it could do that even if it's not previewable, I guess. Alright, anyway, I think I'm going to check this in. This is all sorts of nonsense, isn't it? Yep. Um... Awesome. Well, I've achieved nothing. Uh, I didn't move the purple circle, no. Should I? What did I do? What did I do here? Oh yes, added a hover thing. And I stopped that crashing. Sure. Um, yeah, the purple cursor, I'm okay with it. It's a bit weird, but I don't know. I don't like to add a function that, um, like a custom cursor, I don't like to add a function if it doesn't do anything, because then it's essentially just Yagni. Mm. I didn't check, I don't suppose the cursor would slow down the FPS, would it? Serious games. Oh, I hear I hear circles for curses are all the rage now. Um, yeah, you wouldn't expect it to do much for FPS because it's only drawing a circle. Why does the FPS go up when I drag this around? I really don't know. Yeah, that'd be good. Um, if you make a cursor for the terrain, then I can always delete the pointer cursor then. Oh, that's annoying. It doesn't disappear when you hover off. I wonder if there's an event for that. Eh. We'll worry about that another time. Oh, well. Cool. Um, thank you for hanging out, everybody. I am not really sure what we did, because uh, we didn't do a lot. <laughs> or at least nothing useful that I thought we were going to do. Um, now, let's see, who is streaming that we can raid? Well, Kim's streaming again, but I feel like we've already raided Kim. Plus, he already has, he has way more viewers than me. 
Me, she's streaming, but she's playing a game, and I don't understand games. I just try to write bad ones. Too hard to choose. You know what? Let's not raid anyone tonight. Let's just well waft to sleep with this nice music. I have paralyzed by choice. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for chatting along and everything else. Uh, yeah, I have been me and you have been you and I hope you have an excellent uh, rest of your week and I'll see you later.